Hi everyone, welcome to topic 5 of our videos that is on binomial theorem and in this particular first video clip under this chapter we'll be looking at the introduction to binomial theorem now what is actually binomial theorem binomial theorem is basically a way to do an expansion of things like a plus b to the power of n where n is actually a positive real number oh sorry positive integer okay positive integer things like 3 plus 2x to the power of 5 okay where this 5 of course is a positive integer the a will be 3 the b is 2x okay now let us try to explore the pattern underlying this expansion okay for example based on your notes we say that let's look at 1 plus b to the power of 0 in this case anything to the power of 0 will be 1 and if you look at 1 plus b to the power of 1 that of course gives you 1 plus b let's look at something more 1 plus b squared okay so you realize that it's the same as 1 plus b multiplied by 1 plus b and if term by term expansion you will get 1 plus 2b plus b squared as you move along and see some pattern 1 plus b cubed that will be the same as 1 plus b squared multiplied by 1 plus b and so we have the following this is the expression for 1 plus b squared multiplied by 1 plus b and if you expand it out you will get 1 plus 3b plus 3b squared plus b cubed okay and if you continue to look at 1 plus b power 4 and see what happens this becomes 1 plus b power 3 multiplied by 1 plus b and so we will get 1 plus 3b plus 3b squared plus b cubed times 1 plus b and term by term expansion you'll get 1 plus 4b plus 6b squared plus 4b cubed plus b to the power 4 and let's continue to one more term 1 plus b5 okay and so we'll continue the process again and this time around we get 1 plus 5b plus 10b squared plus 10b cubed plus 5b4 plus b5 now what do you notice in this pattern you notice that the power of b increases from 0 1 2 0 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 4 and all the way in this case 0 1 2 3 4 5 right and also if there are degree 5 power 5 there will be six terms here if it's power 4, there will be 5 terms here. Okay? And if it's power 3, there will be 4 terms. There's always one more than the power. Another thing to take note of is the kind of symmetry that you notice. Okay? Notice that the coefficient okay, is the same. Both are 1. The coefficient of these two are the same. The coefficient of these two are the same. Coefficient of these two are the same. Coefficient of these two are the same. Likewise for the last one. Okay, uh, it's found that in the general formula, is 1 plus b to the power n can be given as 1 plus n choose 1 times b plus n choose 2 times b squared until the general situation will be n choose r times b to the power r all the way until n choose n b to the power n and this n choose n is actually 1 okay and what is the formula for n choose r now n choose r is actually the same as n factorial over r factorial n minus r factorial okay and of course it's also the same as n times n minus 1 all the way until n minus r plus 1 over r factorial if you simplify this expression 
Another way of writing this n choose r will be writing as n r in this manner. Okay, you can calculate this one using your calculator definitely. Okay, and this is what we call the binomial theorem. Okay, binomial theorem. And then in the next video clip, we'll be looking at some examples of how we can apply binomial theorem in our expansion. Thank you.